Chase body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood. Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Cause the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. The wait is finally over. It's finally out and available for everyone to play. It's been out for a day and I'm a day late of recording and probably not gonna post this for another day after that. <laughs> um, what's up guys, it's Red X and I hope you guys are having a awesome week. Uh, we're heading into the weekend so hopefully you guys have a chance to play this as well. I'm sure everyone has downloaded this onto their PS5 or Xbox One X or their mighty PC. Uh, while my PC is uh, definitely needing some damp towels right now. This is definitely going to cook my GPU. <laughs> I don't have any of the 3000 series cards or the new AMD cards. Sadly, those are just... Uh, yeah, uh, well, let's not get into that. But anyways, what we should get into is this game right now. Now, I have played the game a little bit just to see, you know, and test my graphics card to see what it can handle. So, but we're going to start a new game here. Let's go with... Let's go with, uh... Hard difficulty. We can always tone it down if we need to. This music is very loud, but awesome at the same time. I was always interested in the Corpo uh, background story, so let's go with the Corpo. I'm gonna go with the guy. The music is finally calming down. Wow. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me now. Um, I decided through this playthrough that I'm not going to talk too much uh, unless, you know, it's... Uh, if I'm, you know, too quiet, just let me know in the comments down below. But uh, if you guys prefer less commentary, um, also comment that down below. Uh, but by default, I'm going to... Uh, comment less on the game and let the game basically play play itself a little bit uh and let you guys immerse within the gameplay uh for those who haven't you know played it before or uh aren't able to play or don't want to play it i can definitely understand that because there's a lot of glitches <laughs> so totally understandable for those who want to wait a little bit uh until it's patched up Get a new hairstyle. Got some interesting hairstyles here, including that one. I'm gonna go for a uh, an android look. I don't know what happened there.
Oh my god. There are a lot of choices, that's for sure. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Or you can go bald. <laughs> go for, like, the, the hitman look. Yeah, why not? Alright, let's see what we got for choices for, uh, for... Oh, okay, this is the structure, uh, around the eyes. Some of these look so odd. Right, let's go with that one. Alright, let's see what we got for eye colors and designs. I did say I want to go for an android look. That kind of looks like uh, Jigsaw or something. Ah, uh, that's giving me some android vibes. All black. That is so creepy. It's like demonic. I'm gonna go for one of these. I'll go for all black. Why not? No eyebrows. Kinds me. It, it kind of reminds me of uh, Terminator One. All right, I'm gonna go with that. And this guy is going to look very odd. <laughs> He already does, but I'm not trying to make him look like the ugliest. I'm gonna look like a weirdo. I'm very impressed with the customization uh, uh, in this game so far. Just creating your own character is it's pretty uh, extensive. A lot more than I thought it would be. Let's go with that jawline. All right, should we give him a beard? I think it would eliminate the uh, the purpose of. No, it would it would make him look less like an android, more like a human. Let's just keep it off. Of course, some cyberware, too. Um, yeah, I think that actually looks pretty... That looks pretty cool. Some facial scars. It can look like he's war torn. Are those tire marks? And <laughs> he get ran over. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks very, very weird. But that's what I'm going for. Facial tattoos. Oh, the barcode. Yes. It's all coming together. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to spend too much time here on the customization menu, but I definitely want to show show it off a little bit. You can customize the teeth too. It's awesome. There, metal titanium teeth. <laughs> Okay. Blemishes or other thing. Okay, no, here's the blemishes. Don't need that. Wow, you can even customize if he has nips or not. Actually, that makes him look even more like an inhuman. 
Well, let me give him some, like, futuristic tattoos or something. Nah, actually, it'll be better if he just has nothing. Body scars. Anything that resembles, like, some, uh, I don't know, scrapes or something. Now we go on to customizing his attributes and what he can do. Um, I, I can already... I want to give him more intelligence, reflexes, and techni techni technical ability. I can't talk. Um, just to make him stand out more as, you know, a robot. I would, I would assume that a... A robot would have, well, of course, body and, and, and muscles, but you only have seven points available, so... I'm just gonna put two towards reflexes, intelligence, and technical ability. What each, each of these do, um, they affect, like, your RAM capacity, which I have no idea what a Cyberdeck RAM capacity is yet, until we get into the game. Uh, quick hack damage, or quick hack duration. Um, reflexes... Give you passive evasion from enemy attacks by 1%. Increases crit chance and damage uh, from Mantis Blades by 3. So that is definitely a positive. Because I'll be using those. Uh, and then technical ability. Let's see. Uh, represents your technical know-how. It allows you to open doors and use tech weapons. Uh, each increase in level will increase the armor by 5. Which is awesome. That's what I'm looking for. And then, cool. <laughs> Can't believe there's a uh, attribute section called cool. Um, determines your resilience, composure, and effectiveness in operating from stealth. Each level of cool will increase crit damage, uh, all resistance, stealth, reduce the speed at which enemies detect you uh, in stealth by 0.5%, and increase mono wear damage, wire damage by 3. Uh, wow, that's actually a lot. So you definitely want to keep cool uh, at a high, uh, or focus on on cool attribute more than most. Um, but let me show you guys what body because I didn't go over that. I didn't increase any points uh, or increase the points on this one. Uh, body determines your raw physical power in addition to allowing your for to force open doors. Each level of body starting from level three will add five health points. Stamina points, increase damage with fists and gorilla arms by three, increase the damage with melee weapons, decrease movement penalty while grabbing en enemies and wielding heavy machine gun by 6%, and last but not least, increase movement while grappling an enemy. So basically every single physical uh, ability. All right, uh, so I think this is a good place to start right now. Um, I'll increase body uh, just a bit, at least to increase uh, maximum health points, but I'm definitely going to focus on technical ability, cool, uh, coolness, <laughs> and reflexes more than anything, uh, and intelligence. So, all right, here we go. So our alias is V, and the backstory of a corpo goes a little like this. Few leave the corporate world with their lives. Few are still with their souls intact. You've been there. You've bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game. Only winners and losers. Awesome. That is definitely the backstory that I I was thinking of doing. Um, Let's see what this choice gives us. I, I was going to initially do uh, the Nomad backstory, but I just changed my mind and did the complete opposite of uh, the the third, uh, the basically the last choice that I would have made, just to see um, how it would go and maybe it would change my mind uh, by actually choosing that and experiencing that backstory. Look at me, man. Oh, okay. All right. Well. V, you there? Yeah, yeah. barely. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm here. You all right? <laughs> Fine. Just uh, needed a breather. It sounded like you blew your guts airlock. Yeah, I barfed. It's just stress. Esa chamba te va a matar. Don't worry, I'm not dead yet. Exactly. Yet. Anyway, what's going on? Is there a problem? We had a leak. My boss called. Dragged me in because we had to intervene. Everyone at Night City HQ is on edge. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. Jackie, if you work in our Arasaka counter intel, you're always fucked. Don't worry about me. I'll manage on my own. Buena suerte. Ursa of Night City? Pay close attention to the tutorials to learn more about the basic mechanics of the game. Or if you're already an experienced edge runner, feel free to disable the hints. Uh, you can go to the database at any time during the game to access tutorials as well as read up on the most important topics of Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, thank you, game. I will definitely resort to that when I need some help. But, uh, wow, this game is looking gorgeous. And I'm pretty sure I have the graphics turned down very low. Alright. I changed my settings a bit and, wow, it boosted my frames per second a lot. Um, having a 20, uh, 2000 series RTX card or greater definitely helps with uh, DLSS. Um, so for anybody that has a RTX card, definitely take advantage of that. Uh, I have the uh, the RTX 2060, which is like the entry level. Uh, well, the 2060 Super to be exact. This is not bad performance, especially at, uh, at 2K resolution. So it looks like we're at Arasaka. Whoa. I wonder if this is going to be the future. We're all going to have these heads-up displays in our in our eyes, like optical heads-up displays that just tell us everything there is to know, like the news, our body uh, patterns, and everything. Christ, we were supposed to be here an hour ago. Uh, I kind of got held got up. Got held up, but I'll be right there. Fucking Frankfurt. That Abernathy bitch will probably dump it in our laps. Ugh, hanging up. I'll be in my office. You hurry up. Oh, obviously. I, I, Jenkins is the... <laughs> the, uh, typical douche. Boss. Yeah, problem? That's what I thought. Three of ours. <laughs> now we're evacuating. Mr. Jenkins asked me. He's in his office. Alright, thanks. I want a keyboard like that. Can I take this? No, you don't care? Okay. <laughs> hey, V. It's been ages. How do you do, man? It's me, Frank. We met during Icefall. East Coast, remember? I didn't know you were in Night City. How have you been? Ah, uh, you know how it is. A week ago, I was still in Cape Town. I heard you encounter Intel. Must have a shit show on your hands right now after Frankfurt. Jenkins is your lead, right? Is he what everyone says he is? Tell me about the op in Cape Town. Operation Cargo. You know about it? Arming local conflicts in Africa. I didn't know that was you. It was me. We dumped crates full of rifles into the ocean. They had to be pulled out using borrowed fishing boats. Same old circus, but hey, that's how wars are won. And you, who do you work under? Abernathy. She's really good. Came up with the whole Cape Town ploy on her own. 
Abernathy. The bitch who burned my boss in the promotion to Spec Ops Director. You know how it is. Things happen. Yeah. They do indeed. I love how, like, laid back this guy is. What's everyone say about Jenkins? That he's effective. Like any psychopath. Apparently, he's gone a little crazier lately. Hey, he's in a tough spot. The director was supposed to greenlight his promotion when the Japanese arrived. She stabbed him in the back instead. Listen, sorry, uh, in a bit of a rush right now. We'll talk another time, okay? Sure, sure. Good seeing you again. Wonder if I'll meet him again at some point in the future. Emergency protocols active. System security confirmed. Don't look, but that's him. Jenkins boy. Are they talking about me? Uh, I must be a, a kind of a big deal, I guess. Maybe I'm. Maybe I. I don't know. Whoa! Ah! Uh, I hurt my eyes. Are you online? In the game and room. <laughs> Oops. Can have a seat, Pete. Be right with Late. you. We have to handle this voting issue before we lose our bases in the sea of clouds. They're about to begin. What's the situation? Mm. Mm hmm Yeah, just as we thought. You know what to do. Start now. Wow. Director Abernathy. I watched the vote. What the hell was that? A deep clean after the shit Frankfurt dumped on us. As we agreed, I got rid of the problem. I told you to resolve the problem, not massacre the European Space Council. Do you understand what the cover-up will cost? We would have lost the license. Now we gained a week. That's a win. Path of least resistance always. No nuance has you written all over it. <laughs> We're not done talking about this. I hate that bitch. I always have. This isn't the first time Abernathy set you up. No, not the first. Smeared me in front of Japanese execs, so she'd be the one promoted to director of Spec Ops. Cut. Damn. Got now she's holding a gun to my head to make sure I don't try anything. But she won't pull the trigger because she needs me. I do what she doesn't have the guts to do. Divide and conquer. Effective strategy. <sighs> Effective. What would you do in my position? You have to defend yourself. Remind Abernathy you're not her doormat. You're right. Smack her once, but hard. She'll respect you. Is that how it works? <laughs> Seems we see eye to eye on this issue. Take this. Got a shard. Don't mind if I do. This will uh, probably shut down my systems. It's what I've collected over the okay, past weeks. Biometrics, trauma team card, names of her closest associates, driver, chief of security, lover, lover's husband. Oh, okay, I see where this is going. Use it and make sure Abernathy won't be a problem anymore. You said it. I need to defend myself. If anyone finds out we even talked about this, I'll go down with you. That's true. But everyone knows you only made it to where you are thanks to me. So it's not like they could ever believe you played no part in it. Wow. What will happen if I refuse? Well, obviously. <laughs> Don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> yeah. This isn't a request, V. We seem to understand each other. Take this, too. Can't go wrong with cash. Use this money only. Find the right people for the job. No corporate affiliation. And for the core task, use someone you know inside out. Are we clear? Yeah, I think we're clear. Oh, we already know. Good. Who the... In that case, 
I'll await your report. And good luck with it. I have my AV waiting outside. It's yours to use. And don't disappoint me. Hmm. Jenkins, Night City Counter Intel. I think I'm gonna go and screw him over at some point. This is on the life of corporate. <laughs> I have those reports you asked for? Uh... You're late! <laughs> they were supposed to be ready yesterday. I, I know. But I, I have them now. Send them to my inbox, and you and I will have a word about this later. Wow. AV, <laughs> hey, you alive? I think in the Viper Pit. Viper Pit. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better. You in some trouble? Not yet. Right now, I just need a soul I can trust. I that kind of sounded like a yes. Meet me at Lizzie's. Be there in an hour. Dirt on us now. The corporal rat. Read the report on your personal terminal. Alright. Let's go and do that real quick. Maybe we can find a little bit more background information. I need your stamp on something. It's possible one of our assets was exposed. Is it Frankfurt again? No, different issue. Local. Tell me. Quick version. Our agent at Biotechnica suspects they might be onto him. They recently granted him red security clearance. That's top. He's been fishing for dirt, but it's been slow. Your point? They're clean. Like we run orphanages clean. Bleach server clean. We suspect they flagged him and are feeding him phony data. Should we green light Exfil or let him keep looking? Hmm. Keep him there digging. We invested way too much getting him that deep to back out now. You sure? Do I really need to repeat myself? Oh, of course not. Feels good to be a douche. Controlled by another douche. Like I said, all in the world of, of corporates. Alright, um... Let's... Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Um, open a drawer. See what's in there. Let's, uh, cognitive booster. I'm not sure what that would do. Pick up the card. Wow. Nice. I guess we can't equip that. Definitely an enhancement drug. <laughs> um, let's use the computer. Let's go to files. NUSA Militech. After assessing data collected from contact reports in Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and Montana, we did not confirm any active NUSA reports or efforts against Arasaka assets or operations in federal territories. However, the same conclusion cannot be or cannot be drawn regarding potential threats for Militech. Although the corporation has obvious close ties to the NUSA government, we were unable to obtain valuable intel due to much higher, tighter control on internal procedure and information flows. We must rely on unconfirmed circumstantial evidence obtained by our field agents for the time being. And the conclusion is further human and human, <laughs> human and, uh, gathering it required. Current data or circumstantial do not allow for indisputable conclusions. I'm just going to pretend that I know exactly what I'm doing. Alright, let's check our messages. Uh, from the administration bulletin to Arasaka. Uh, we are pleased to announce the opening of a new space in our Night City headquarters. Our scientists have meticulously curated authentic rainforest flora and fauna in designing our very own experimental self-sustaining ecosystem. More details coming soon. Uh, Post-mortem operation Wormy Apple. What? <laughs> okay, what a interesting name. Um, the meeting of the Department of Operational Oversight Committee finds as follows regarding operation Wormy Apple. The operation was executed without 
following proper procedure, thus putting agent lives and more importantly the company reputation in jeopardy. The operation's success is due solely to the fact that Pretrichem uh, committed errors which proved more costly than her own. All personnel involved in planning the operation will be subject to internal audit. Oh no. We find the death of the Prig uh, contact uh, caused toxin induced cardiac arrest, uh, a direct in the result of poor planning. Required action investigate all stages of operation planning from reconnaissance to implementation with the aim of isolating irregularly. Irregular, oh my god, I can't talk. Irregularities uh, to in procedure and or judgment. Wow, that was really bad. Um, and we have two other messages. Uh, Vacation with the Stars, Crystal Palace, uh, Unbeatable Offers. Uh, I'm going to read this really quick. Uh, if you guys want to read every single message uh, at your own pace, just pause the video then. Um, I'm going to read it real quick. Um, Brain dance. I actually really want to experience brain dance and, and to see what exactly that is. I believe it's basically like uh, VR, but through the, you know, your act actual optics instead of uh, hardware, looking through hardware in itself. You basically get to experience what other people experience through their perspective. I think that's what what it is. But high levels of cortisol, catalamine, and uh, adrenaline persist from previous results. Can we do anything on the net? And you can like spend hours just on a computer in a game on your computer. <laughs> it's just like, okay, well, let's just get out of here. All right, he has nothing to say to me anymore. Let's go to the AV garage and see what kind of, uh, what, what kind of wheels, set of wheels we have already. Right. 